that the world was what? Void, without form. There was chaos. And something happened. The spirit hovered. Hallelujah. Just as the Holy Spirit has hovered, is in here in our very midst. And something began to happen. The Bible says God said, and things began to be created. Hallelujah. Let there be light, there was light. Let there be trees, let there be plants, let there be animals, let there be fish in the sea. Let this be, let that be. And things began to be created. Psalm 33, 9 says that he spoke and it came to be. He commanded and it stood firm. Hallelujah. And it is in the speaking that we begin to create our future and, you know, and align our destiny to what God has ordained it to be. So we're going to open our mouths today and we're going to speak. Praise the Lord. The other thing is thanksgiving. Because it's when we come with that spirit of thanksgiving, when we come to say thank you, when we acknowledge who, he, who God is, when we come in adoration and in worship, we are made completely whole. We are fully restored. The Bible tells us in Psalm 22 that it in, inhabits the praise of his people. And I know that my God is a very generous God. He never comes empty-handed. And he, he comes to give. Hallelujah. He's a giver. Hallelujah. He said that. He gave. He said, unto us a child is, unto us a son is born, but unto us a child is given. God is in the business of giving gifts. Hallelujah. And he has come laden with gifts. 2020 has so much in store. Hallelujah. And it is for you and for me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to share very, very briefly before we start praying from the book of Luke 17. And I'm going to read from verse 11. Praise the Lord. And it reads thus. Luke 17, starting to read from verse 11. Now, on his way to Jerusalem, Jesus traveled along the border between Samaria and Galilee. As he was going into a village, ten men who had leprosy met him. They stood at a distance and called out in a loud voice, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. Verse 14. When he saw them, he said, go, show yourselves to the priests. And as they went, they were cleansed. One of them, when he saw he was healed, came back praising God in a loud voice. He threw himself at Jesus' feet and thanked him. And he was a Samaritan. Jesus asked, were not all ten cleansed? Where are the other nine? Has no one returned to give praise to God except this foreigner? Verse 19. Then he said to him, rise and go. Your faith has made you well. Hallelujah. I always ask myself that question. He was healed. He saw he was healed. Then he came back and said and thanked him and says rise your faith has made you well but wasn't he healed it was because he found out he was healed that he came back wasn't it there is more to that verse and that is what we are going to explore today praise the lord but i want to put it in context of us today first of all i want us to put it in context on the 31st of December 2018, we gathered together as a church 
and we prayed. We prayed ourselves into, we prayed to God and prayed our way into January 1, 2019. We trusted God and we believed that God said, go. Hallelujah. And we began to walk every day. So January 1, 2019, we walked. January 2, all of January finished. We walked through, traversed through February, traversed through March, April, May, June, July. And we just kept going. And God kept blessing us. And things kept happening. We got to mountains and he made them disappear. Some of the mountains, he said, take my hand. I will walk you through it. We got to valleys. Some of them he filled, but some of them he carried us into the valley and carried us out. Hallelujah. But he brought us day by day, moment by moment, until where we are now here. Praise the Lord. And when, when we come back to him and look back, and count our blessings and come to say thank you. Something happens. You see, those other nine, they were healed of their leprosy. But who knows whether they had hypertension? Who knows whether the disease went? But you know leprosy sometimes, you know, it gets you, if you have a bad case of it, you're digits you know your and um, the fingers and toes can all be chopped off you know deformed who knows if by saying he was made whole he was fully restored in health that others yes the disease went but this one had become fully restored just like Neymar was restored the bible says his body was like that of a newborn baby Hallelujah. Let's see what other trans, um, translations, how they um, trans explain that verse 19. And I'm using the amplified version. And he said to him, get up and go on your way. Your faith, your trust and confidence that spring from your belief in God has restored you to health. Hallelujah. I believe that in addition to the leprosy being healed, that this man was fully made whole. All of him was restored. Everything concerning him. Praise the Lord. And I believe that today in the mighty name of Jesus, as we come back to say thank you, as we come back to worship God, all the testimonies that God had already started on our behalf will be complete. Amen. Hallelujah. You see, all those, God, you've started this, but, but, the but will be moved away. We will see the completion, the fullness of it. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now my song that I asked for at this point, please. Hallelujah. And I want us to, because we are going to start to pray. We are going to start to shape our 2020.
that he has helped all through 2019. He's my healer, yes. If you're the one that he made and molded, ah, come back. Come and worship him. If he healed you, this one you healed, Lord. The one you healed has come to worship. Has come to say thank you for restoring. The one you healed has come to say thank you. Has come to worship. The one you healed that was gone. The one you healed has come to worship. This girl, oh Lord, this girl, this girl that you healed. This girl that you made, Lord, I have come back. I have come to worship you, O Lord. My Savior, this one that you saved, this one that you moved away from the Mary clay and planted her feet upon a solid rock. Hey, Jehovah, I've come to give you thanks. I've come to worship you. This one, oh Lord God, that you showered oodles of mercy upon. This girl, oh Lord God, that you have let see a, a, a bit of your grace. Hey, Carabosa, help her. This one you saved. This one you made. This one you healed. This one, oh Lord God, that you showed mercy. This one, oh Lord, that you showered grace upon. Father God, I've come, I've come to worship. Hey. the Lord. Hallelujah. We've come to worship. We've come to worship. Hallelujah. But there's something that we need to do. Hallelujah. We have to lose every tie of the accuser. Praise the Lord. We cannot allow the accuser to have any inroads into our lives. And that is why the Bible says that if we say we do not have any sin, we'll tell a lie. It says that, but if we confess our sins, that he's faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Why am I saying that? Not that I'm saying that everybody has sinned or anyone has not sinned. No, no, no. But I'm just saying that God is faithful to cleanse us from all unrighteousness so as we are entering into 2020 we cannot allow the enemy begin to point fingers at us all we need to tell him is this I have been cleansed from all unrighteousness the one he saved I am standing as one that is saved I'm standing as a child hallelujah he says that he has given me the authority. He has given me the power, the privilege, the right to be his son, to be his daughter. 
Hallelujah. So we can cut off every accusatory tongue, every accusatory finger. We say no and reject its intent in our lives. Let us take a few moments and just come clean before Jehovah and just thank him that yes Lord I am completely saved hallelujah I am completely saved you're able to cleanse me from all unrighteousness begin to pray that is the first thing we need to get the road clear we need to make the road clear praise the Lord Father, we thank you. We give you praise, Lord. We worship you. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The blood of Jesus continually cleanses us from every sin, every wrongdoing. We set aside every weight, everything that so easily besets us. We are running this race into 2020 unhindered. Hallelujah, unhindered in the power of the Spirit. Father, we thank you. Jehovah God, we give you praise. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The first scripture we're going to pray from is from the book of Hosea. Praise the Lord. Hosea chapter 14. Please, anointed grace sanctuary voices, please sit down. Just hold your mics. Praise the Lord. And you can... You can support us from where you're, you're sitting. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hosea 14, 5 and 6 says, I will be like the dew to Israel. He will blossom like a lily. Like a cedar of Lebanon, he send down his roots. His young shoots will grow. His splendor will be like an olive tree. His fragrance like the cedar of Lebanon. The cedar of Lebanon is a, is a, a tree that is renowned for its strength. Praise the Lord. But you see, what I like is verse 5. It says, I will be like the dew to Israel. God himself is the one that will water you. Hallelujah. You see, come 2020, God will be the one to water you. And if God waters you, there is no way that you will not blossom. Hallelujah. It says that you will blossom like a lily. You cannot be suppressed. Your beauty will shine forth. Hallelujah. Your beauty, the Christ-like beauty in you will shine forth in the name of Jesus. You will send down your roots. You will be solid. Praise the Lord. You will be solid. And the young ones, it says that they are young, the young shoots will grow. Hallelujah. And they are splendor like the cedar of Lebanon. Your fragrance will be all over. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I just want you to begin to declare that concerning yourself. Declare it concerning Fountain London. Say in the year 2020, God himself is my fertilizer. Hallelujah. Whatever it is I'm doing, God will give it growth. God will give it what it needs to increase in the name of Jesus. Begin to talk to God. Begin to talk to God. He will be the Jew. He is the Jew. Hallelujah. He will water you. The Holy Spirit, your helper, will water you. Hallelujah. He's your strength. You will be like the cedar of Lebanon. You will blossom. There is no stagnation. Whatever you find your hand, whatever your hand finds to do, 
there will be growth, there will be increase in the mighty name of Jesus. Your heart's desire will be fulfilled in Jesus' name because he is your due. He is your due. Kayerabush. With that due comes the spiritual and physical nutrients that you need to progress. We have two more days of this year. But I can tell you that what all that you need, all that you need to step into 2020 and begin to reap the fruits of what God has ordained for you, God is supplying even now in the name of Jesus. He is your due. He is your due. Karabosh. Yerebo kuriana masende kiriarabo sata. Keshende kiriana masondo robo kuriarabasete. Jende kiriana masonto robo bo 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 sende. Yerebe kiriana masende kiriarabo sata. Yes. God has said peace. He's given you peace, his own kind of peace. Not the peace of the world, but his own kind of peace. Nothing can take that peace away from you. He says, I say, peace that passes all understanding. That peace will guard your heart, that peace will guard your mind. In the mighty name of Jesus. <laughs> You walk into 2020 being at peace with yourself. Hallelujah. Ah, oh. the world may bring trouble, but God in you will bring you peace. The peace that passes all understanding. Shandarabu kuriarabu sente. <laughs> Your future will not be truncated in the mighty name of Jesus. Harabushka Rakazete Riarabu Sete Riarabu Santa. The grace of God, the grace of God will be poured out to you. a measure that is unquantifiable. His grace is all you will need 2020. You just need his grace. The grace will open doors. The grace will bring about miracles. Oh. Testimonies will abound in the name of Jesus. All you need is God's grace. All you need is God's grace. What I'm hearing is that you need to be where the grace is being poured out in God's presence. Oh, you cannot do without God's presence. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That place of worship is the key. You have to be deliberate. You have to be intentional. Hallelujah. You have to be deliberate. You have to be intentional. But that will grace pursue you? Yes. Will grace catch up with you? Yes. Will grace stay with you? Yes. Will you achieve your purpose? Yes. Would you achieve your aim? Yes. Will God put his stamp of favor on it? Yes. That is given. But you need to be intentional about your time with Jehovah. Hallelujah. You need to be intentional. You need to constantly say, the one you saved has come to worship you. 
The Holy Spirit is your helper. The Holy Spirit is your helper. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please can someone say, Jehovah is a wall of fire round about me. Can you say that again, please? Jehovah is a wall of fire round about me. Now let's just begin to confess that. Begin to confess. Whatever it is that you, you want protected, you want secure, whatever prayer point that you're bringing before God, begin to declare that God himself is a wall of fire round about you. Round about you. Roko shekeria na masonto robo shekeria na basekeria na basete. Raba baba 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 baba. Karia na mas shekeria na basenderi baba baba baba. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. Hallelujah. God himself is the glory within. You will glorify God. Your life will glorify God in the name of Jesus. Please let us rise to our feet as we just take this prayer, this last prayer point. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please just say after me in the mighty name of Jesus. From the throne of God, I receive the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of revelation, so that I will get to know. Eyes of my understanding have been enlightened in the mighty name of Jesus. Say, I now know the hope to which I have been called. In the mighty name of Jesus, I know that I am the glorious riches of my Savior. I make him rich. I make him rich. I am his treasured possession. He watches over me. He adds to me. He values me. I increase only in the mighty name of Jesus. I increase only in the mighty name of Jesus. He's a wall of fire round about me. He's the glory within me in the name of Jesus. The word stagnation is struck off from my dictionary, from my experience in the mighty name of Jesus. In my life, there is growth there is life, there is newness in the mighty name of Jesus. In my business, there is growth, there is life, there is newness in the mighty name of Jesus. In my body, there is health in the mighty name of Jesus. In my finances, there are wealth in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's able to do immeasurably more than I can ever ask or imagine in the mighty name of Jesus. 2020, we yield all that God has purposed for me in the mighty name of Jesus. Every day, I will sing songs of praise because God is continually doing wonderful testimonies day by day 
my lips will have cause to praise him in Jesus mighty name father we thank you Jehovah we give you praise in Jesus mighty name can we take that savior song one more time Celebration. 